of day four with Mac. Um, now, after finishing his walk and a little bit of uh, the sit and down training, I come in here and we have some play time in the arena. So let's see what Max does this morning with his prey drive game. Oh, and I keep the long line on so if he checks out, I can pull him back into class. I've never even tried this one. I never start with this as high, but I wanted to see what he would do. All right, we're going to go back into the prey dry game. Such a big, goofy puppy. Very gentle when he bites. Yeah, good job. Good job. He doesn't even really bite it. It's so funny. So, yeah, good job. That was a good one. That's the best ever. Yeah. Good job. Good job, buddy. Good job. And we always pet them when they have it. Good job. When we run a release, I do have food, so I'll use, I'll teach him the word out or or release, out, and I'll lure him away from the object, out. Yeah, good job. And then we'll start the game again. Okay. I never pry this out of their mouth. We want them to. Good job. Oh, today. This is the morning of day four. And I didn't even play with this the first day. I introduced it the second day, and uh, he wasn't that interested. Third day was interested. This morning, he's really liking it. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good job. Oh. Careful when you play this game with him because you got 90 pounds and when I mess up and the toy is too close to me. I also attach the leash to the flat collar at this time. You don't have it on the prong. Good job. Yeah, buddy. So he's gone on a 30 minute walk, some luring with teaching, and then we end with some recess play time. And oh, and when I uh, work with balls with him, I use two balls. I'll let him get it, and then we'll, we'll end the game. So that's Max with the prey drive game, and he really likes it. So um, it's just a, um, a horse um, whip that you can get from Tractor Supply. They're pretty cheap. And then I tie a toy to the end. See the toy? And uh, <clears throat> that way I control. A lot of people go, I don't want to do that. Then he's going to chase cats and stuff like that. He's been great with my cat. Um, no, it's just the opposite. I'm teaching him when he can play and when he can go after things. So, you know, the next thing, you know, we'll work on is also, you know, uh, wait. And wait means you'll get that. But leave it means you never get it. If I, once I teach leave it, leave it is you never get that. So if he's looking at another dog and I say leave it, that means you're not going to get to go play right now. So, um, <laughs> he's a cool dude. And if you were to play tug with them, remember, 
they can never win and run off. So if I want to end the game and make it boring, I just stop all movement. I can drop the whip and he gets bored because it's no longer moving. You know, I'm creating the fun. He just doesn't know it. <laughs> um, but this, this little game, if your dogs do like uh, prey drives, um, they, uh, it's a fun thing to do and you don't have to um, uh, run around too much and the dog can get, get worn out with a little bit of activity before you go to work. So there you go. That's uh, Max. Eight, nine month old puppy. Good job. My other video I shared with you that this dog was um, surrendered uh, to by the owner to a shelter here in Tennessee. And um, he was adopted by a friend of mine who uh, has had shepherds in the past, so she knows the dog. She knows the, the work of a large dog, and it's a working dog, not a dog that should be locked in an apartment or left, you know, all day to not get to do anything. It has to have a job. We have to shape it. Look, I could even be, you know, I can work with dogs sitting down. This is the lazy man. Not a good idea, by the way. <laughs> All right, hope you have a good day, and get out there. Find something that you can interact with your dog. Interactive toys are put up when you're done, okay? And you don't go until the dog's exhaustion. Then there's toys if you want out with your dogs. Those are toys that are just strictly to entertain your dog. But this is an interactive toy. Balls are interactive, and they get put away. I bring the games out. I control when the class is doing something. So don't look at it as a negative that I'm trying to control the dog. I'm a teacher that brings out different things to teach the dogs all day long. All right, have a good day. Good job, Max.